Here's a strange tale of the business of video games. This is the wrong rabbit. Seriously. Kemco's progenitor of the Crazy Castle series started out with Roger Rabbit at the helm. So when it was time for this weird kind of puzzle kind of action dropping safes on people game to come to the States, well, there was a problem. See, America already had a Roger Rabbit game developed by Rare, yes, that Rare, which kind of sucked. But it was a Roger Rabbit game nonetheless, and so Kemco had to scramble to find an effective and recognizable property to slap on this thing. I'd say that Bugs Bunny qualifies as effective and recognizable, wouldn't you? And thus, one Lagomorph was swapped for another. The Toon Patrol were replaced with Sylvester, Daffy Duck, Yosemite Sam, and Wile E. Coyote. The transformation was complete. This was Bugs Bunny's crazy castle now. So Honey Bunny's been kidnapped, and it's up to America's favorite herbivore to rescue her. Yes, Honey Bunny. This was years and years before that Lola chick would show up on the basketball court. His goal, and I'm not even pretending this makes sense, is to collect all the carrots in each level, because then apparently he wins. To this end, he's armed with, well, with a confident stride, the ability to pick up and fire boxing gloves, and to kick various things, including safes, buckets, crates, and other obstacles. Unfortunately, and rather ironically for a freaking rabbit, Bugs cannot jump. He's Robocop to the ground. But he can climb stairs, fall, and use and abuse doorways and pipes. For reasons that only make sense to cartoon physicists, and perhaps Benny Hill, one of the most effective means of evasion is simply to enter the same doorway your foe is passing through, as these portals offer complete invulnerability to those ascending or descending. Pipes offer much the same protection, presumably there's a bread and butter joke going on inside the tube that we on the outside are not privy to, but they're cartoon characters, how could they not? There's a total of 60 stages with a password system allowing easy access to anyone right from the jump. That said, there's really only three room styles with three BGMs. The control is kind of weird as well. Holding the up button will keep Bugs walking in whatever direction he's headed, but always opting to ascend stairs, while falling off a ledge, while not a lethal action on its own, can predicate an obligatory second step which might send you off another ledge you didn't mean to descend. Also, you'll often find that there aren't nearly enough weapons to dispatch all your foes in a stage, making the game an elaborate version of Cat and Mouse or more accurately, cat, duck, coyote, and vertically challenged prospector and rabbit. Put aside the confusion over who's supposed to be in the game, and you're left with a decent and challenging action, but still kind of puzzle thing, with plenty of beta carotene, and slapstick cartoon violence, which is always awesome, regardless of what your mother says. 